Naples, Italy. It's a chaotic, dirty, sprawling, ancient, culturally rich city, and my favorite city in the world. There's so much to do there, from exploring castles and monuments in the city, enjoying incredible food and Italian hospitality, learning about the history, and so many nearby day trips that, for me, one week just wasn't enough time. What's up, guys? So, today's our last day in Naples. So we're running to get a free tour to actually see the city because we've left the city so much. Usually, we do free tours on the first day, but you know, we like to do things on that trail. We don't like to follow, of course. Um, right now, we're late, so we're running. Unfortunately, like I said, today's our last day in Naples. So we're leaving Giovanni's home, the amazing hostel we stayed at. He was a great host. He cooked for us, he sang for us. He showed us that Southern Italian love. If you ever come to Naples, stay with Giovanni. Okay, we gotta make this free tour. So we missed the free tour. That's okay, because we're at the most famous castle in Napoli. So we're just gonna go, the most famous castle in the world of Napoli, Napoli. And we're just gonna go inside and check that out. We're in the castle now. Luckily, it was free. You just have to book online because Kobe. So we made it to the top of the castle. Basically, that's all it is. You walk up and you get this view. Um, I give it a six out of 10, this castle. Six out of 10. What do you give it? 10. Typical proud Italian. <laughs> because we missed the free tour, we decided to go on our own city tour, hitting all the main sites in a single day. Now we're entering the next stop on our city tour, Galleria de Umbria. next destination. We actually made it early to something, which is incredible. So now we're waiting for the tour of the opera to start in about five minutes.
Hello. So we're at our next spot on our tour of things to see in Napoli. We are at Capella San Severo, home to uh, Cristo, no, that's Spanish, the Cristo Velato, which is by some considered the greatest marble sculpture in the world. Okay, never mind. We failed the book online, so uh, it's all sold out. We're not going in. But if you want an idea of what we were going to see, there it is right there. Also, you're not allowed to record inside, so this is the next best thing, honestly. One thing Naples is known for is its mm, less than formal street crossings. So, Noemi, how did we cross the street in Napoli? <laughs> the secret to crossing the street in Napoli? <laughs> So if you didn't know, Naples is probably most famous for being the birthplace of pizza. Pizza shops crowd the streets of Naples, and anywhere you go, they'll follow the strict traditional guidelines of Neapolitan pizza. We decided to check out one of Naples' most famous spots, L'Antica Pizzeria da Macelli, to try some of the best pizza in the world. You can tell it's good by looking at the crowd waiting, so it's a good thing we learned our lesson from the free tour and called ahead. L'Antica Pizzeria da Macelli only does pizza, and pizza it does well. That's why there's only four choices on the menu. Less time thinking about what pizza to order means it gets to your mouth that much quicker. The margarita is the classic. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> how, how are you? How? Sexy, good. It's good. How good? Second best pizza in Naples. Sorry? Second best pizza in Naples. And first? Giovanni's home. <laughs> so if you really want to, you can see all that in a day in Naples. But what were we doing the rest of our time there? Well, we explored the city high and low. First high. Welcome to Napoli Monte Santo. We're gonna ride the funicular. Oh, thank you. To the best view in Naples. <laughs> no, not you, the, the station, that's what I'm filming. After we went high, we went low. Another must visit in Naples if you love history is the National Archaeological Museum. There you can find all the best preserved treasures from the nearby ruins of Pompeii, among other masterpieces from Roman society. I guess they're sort of into mosaics, huh? While we were there, we also used Naples as a home base to explore nearby destinations on the Gulf of Naples. 
An hour train ride will take you to the city of Caserta, where you will find the world's largest royal palace, the Royal Palace of Caserta. What's going on guys? So today we're going to Caserta, which is located outside of Napoli. Um, right now she's booking the tickets online because uh, it seems like after COVID, everything you have to book online. And I think places do this to try to limit the number of people who can come at one time. Um, it's super inconvenient and it's not fun, but uh, it's a sacrifice you have to make if you want to travel in these, these times. Are disgusting. 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 Here I am, walking in my gardens. I come here daily to think, you know, <laughs> meditate, think about life. Uh huh. I find it relaxing. Swim with the fish. Well, as the owner of this park, what do you do during the day? What do I do during the day? Well, I usually wake up early with the sunrise <laughs> and then I start walking to one side of my garden. And uh, um, how long does it take? About half the day. Uh, okay. And then I walk back. <laughs> And I go to bed, and that's my whole day. Every day like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk from one side of my garden to the other, um, and then I come back, and that's my day. Finally we reached the end where the water runs all the way from the hill, about three kilometers to the palace down there. Imagine all the work that goes into getting a drink of water. So if you're not so into day long strolls through the garden and voluminous living quarters and fun in the sun is more your style, the Bay of Naples has ferries running all day long to the nearby islands of Capri, Ischia and Procida. We spent a day exploring the island and relaxing on the beach in Prochida, the most underrated of the three. I highly recommend it for a getaway from your getaway in Naples. So that's Naples. It's not hard to see why I loved it so much. Consider stopping by on your next trip to Italy. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to help us grow, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, share, you know, all that YouTube stuff. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, and until the next one, as always, give travel. Bye guys.